Hello, welcome to West Yorkshire Engine Services based in Bradford, West Yorkshire. We're an independent Nissan engine specialist and we've been specialising in this particular engine for over 10 years now. Right, this is a Nissan Navara D40 engine. Uh, we've just done a major engine repair because it had been run on uh, wrong oil. With all our engines, we do what's called a duplex timing chain upgrade. The duplex timing chain upgrade kit that we use is a BGA kit. It's um, a British made kit, it's not a cheap Chinese import. We've been using this for a number of years now and we've got customers exceeding 350,000 miles and still going strong on this timing chain without an issue. So, this fitting this particular chain kit to your engine will significantly increase the value of the vehicle, but it will also give you a peace of mind. We're sending this chain kit worldwide. Right, on the duplex fuel pump gear, there's a dot. And on that tooth needs to go the blue coloured link right in the middle, as you can see there, right in the middle. I've already set the fuel pump at top dead centre, the crankshaft's at top dead centre and I've also fitted the crankshaft gear and we've also done the vacuum pump upgrade to accept this timing chain. So there's a gold link that goes on the crankshaft cut out which is there. Oops. There we go. There, and that's fitted nicely now. Put the locking pin back in there just to make sure that stays there. Now a lot of people ask me, is this achievable in situ? Well, to be quite frank with you, yes it is. And we do know quite a few people who have done it. But I also know a lot of people that have had problems and they've ended up just taking the engine out anyway. And if you've got a manual, well, you might as well bite the bullet and fit a new clutch anyway. Try and get this done as fast as I can. There we go. Lock and pin back in. So we've got these new guides to fit. Little one there, big one there, this banana guide has got a ridge either side so make sure that you fit the chain correctly. There she goes. There's three gears that sit on that crankshaft in all together. And one of the things that you've got to watch out for as you fit in each one of the gears is that woodruff key there, which sits there, is half mooned. And it can be very easily knocked out. And there you go, it disappears into your sump pan. And normally there's a balance shaft inside there. So that can cause severe damage and that means you have to remove the engine to get that woodruff key out because you certainly don't want it flying around in your engine bottom chain tensioner now we're selling this chain kit right across the world so no matter where you are we can certainly help you very popular in Australia. I sent one recently on an economy to deliver and it only cost £70, which is fantastic. Right, 
torque settings, two 10mm bolts there, 15 newton meters. Then you've got the 6mm on the banana guide at 26 newton meters. And then your four fuel pump gears, 41 newton meters. Now being an SI engine specialist, we stock every engine part possible so no matter what engine part you need or whatever bolt you need we've got a vast array I think we've actually got more than that our local Nissan agents right so that's the bottom end done pull out my pin on my guide on the tensioner now let's have a look at that chain do a lot of towing this is the chain that you need the original Nissan well as you can see snap there stretched and snapped right top timing chain if you change these sprockets them bolts there are 147 newton meters you use a 21 mil spanner on cylinder 2 on your camshaft you've got two hexagons and you use a 21 mil spanner to lock against the cylinder head so you can so you can torque them two bolts. As you can see, on the back timing plate there, there's a dot and a dot, which aligns with the dot on the camshaft gears there and there. Your upper timing chain comes with three coloured links. You've got two blue ones and a gold one. The two blue ones go in your camshafts, on right in the middle of the dots. There. And on the fuel pump, that dot there, right in the middle of the gold one. I'm going to have a bit of slack there because we've got to fit a guide there. So two bolts, top one's a 12mm, bottom one's a little stubby 6mm. Top banana guide again has got a ridge so make sure that you fit it correctly. So the 12 mil, the 6 mil, and the 6 mil, all 26 newton meters. Now just take up the slack. And now we're ready for the top turn chain tensioner. This is the main problem with some of the cheaper kits, chain kits that are out there. We know a number of people that have had problems with the core plug popping out. And again, it just wipes your engine out.
In fact, I've, I've got a vehicle here where um, the upper timing chain tensioner failed on a cheap chain kit and it's wiped his engine out. In fact, it scrapped his cylinder head. That's the problem with using cheap parts. I'll do a video of that later. We often get asked if there isn't a, a video already on YouTube helping you out with any Nissan problems, just feel free to get in contact. We'll do a short video to show you how to do anything at all. Right, so, as you can see, the entire engine now is at top dead centre. That's the timing chain upgrade complete. You don't turn this engine by hand. You literally finish off the rest of the engine, fit it, put your oil in, and turn it on the starter. Now, I'm going to run you through a few of the things that people have problems with when they're doing this upgrade in the car. We strongly advise that you take the engine out. Right. I've already shown you the Woodruff key and the problems that has. That has with being a half moon, it just easily just pops out. Which basically, if you don't notice it, it'll knock your timing out and you'll have to do the whole job again. And the damage is quite severe. Right, as you can see here, this is, an oil, this is your lower timing chain cover. But it's not just a timing chain cover, it's your oil pump. And your oil pump is driven off the crankshaft. Off the crank pulley, sorry. And off the crank. Yeah? Oil travels from the lower part of the sump up through the sump up through this hole here and into here now between that and that is this oil seal which sits there like so as you can see it's slightly protruding because it needs to create a seal between the, the sump now what actually happens and what we've seen in the past is because of the location down there and there as you go to slide that on it cuts that seal in half so what happens then is, when you start the car, the, the oil light stays on. So, if you are going to do it in situ, my advice to you is use a quality RTV. We sell this along with the, the chain kits. And basically, just put a smear around the main hole there. Like so. And as well, you have to, obviously, RTV all the way up there. And, uh, which seals all that. Another top tip for you, the balance shaft, make sure that you've got that aligned with the correct dot on the actual balance shaft there. And that sits there like so. So that dot goes smack bang in the middle of that tooth there. And that's that timed up for you. Another top tip, is don't forget this timing chain guide this goes on your upper timing cover what I tend to do to stop it from dropping out is put a little dot of RTV in each one of them there now if you're doing this for a customer what I strongly advise is your rubber seal is we put a layer of RTV all the way around there in doing that you're saving the customer from having an oil leak in the future so you're doing them a favor right that's the timing chain upgrade complete if you've got anything else to do with the nissan navara engine or you need our help and support give us a call on 01274 or email us at westyorkshireengines at gmail.com